Percussion are traditionally used to highlight the rhythm and create colorful tonal changes in the music. It can be played solo or in ensemble settings, are commonly combined with Western percussion instruments, but these Chinese instruments include the metal type like gongs, cymbals, and bells, the wood type like clappers and blocks, and the skin type like the da gu, um, pai gu, and hand drums. And in ancient China, it was used to announce the arrival of royalty. So if you watch a lot of film scores, you'll see like they just have a single hit and then the royalty come in, for example. Uh, the bigger the gong, the more important the individual. That's very interesting. Uh, Peking opera gongs usually are played in sets of two or three, one with a rising tone, one with a descending tone, and sometimes with a third one with a neutral tone that doesn't go up or down. Um, they're often used in comedic uh, or acrobatic action scenes and to announce the arrival of important characters on stage. Chinese symbols contain two main varieties. We have the bow symbols, large rounded bells with a chunky sound and are usually played in pairs for processions. Um, and the other style is the cha symbols. So we, th those are like wider with flared edges and these are usually played in pairs but also useful when rolled with mallets or struck with drumsticks. So usually you'll see kind of both types in a Chinese orchestra. It just really depends on the application of the music to decide which one you want, so. the clappers. There are two main varieties here, the zuban and the pai ban. These were mainly used in Chinese comedy. They have a very like clacky sound, right? A large attack. So naturally they're used to emphasize certain moments in like co comedic purposes you can imagine. So one is usually held in each hand and played alternately to keep a beat to monologue performances. It can be virtuosic and create complex rhythms to accentuate the natural cadences of speech and punctuate comedic delivery like we said. temple block. These are also known as the wooden fish. They're used by monks and lay people in the Buddhist tradition and sometimes played in sets with sticks. Uh, they're rarely tuned in scales like the western temple blocks so they kind of have a standard like tuning that is not really altered for Chinese music so. <laughs> 